how does a vitrectomy work? Well, it depends on, obviously, the reason why you're doing the vitrectomy. If it's, for example, a hole in the retina, you remove the vitreous gel, which gives you access to the hole and allows you to drain fluid from underneath the retina in a retinal detachment. And then you have space within the eye to put in a bubble of gas, which then pushes the retina back into position and holds it in position while laser or freezing treatment works, causing a permanent adhesion or scar tissue to form and seal the hole in the retina. If it's a macular hole, where there is a hole right at the back of the eye, in the most sensitive part of the retina, again, removing the vitreous gel gives you access to the hole so that the surgeon can use his instruments to peel off scar tissue around the hole and then insert a bubble of gas which holds the retina in position while that hole just closes down of its own accord. So during the procedure, one of the incisions is used to inject fluid into the eye to maintain the space in the eye and the other two incisions are used as working channels so in one of them there may be a fibre optic light pipe which allows us to illuminate the eye and all this procedure is done under a microscope, an operating microscope and then special lenses so we can focus onto the retina and then the other instrument may be small forceps, it may be scissors or little needles so we can pick off tissue from the surface of the, the retina. And you have to remember that this tissue may be only 14-15 microns in thickness, so it's extremely thin and it's a very delicate process of literally just peeling it away from the eye. The procedure is done either with local anaesthetic, with an injection of anaesthetic around the eye, or with sedation, which is a twilight anaesthesia where you drift away during the procedure and not really aware of anything that's happening, or full general anaesthetic. The main issue for the patient is to having to lie still for 45 minutes to an hour, and that's where sedation or general anaesthesia can be very helpful and just adds to the comfort. But it is minimally invasive surgery, and therefore there should be very little per and post-operative discomfort for the patient.